Hi, welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how we can sketch what is called a family of curves for a differential equation. And I'm going to demonstrate this with this type of differential equation which you should be familiar with that is where we can separate the variables we've got dy by dx equals some function of x f of x multiplied by some function of y g of y and we can separate the variables into this particular form all the y's on one side which we integrate with respect to y and all the x's on the other side where we integrate with respect to x so if I demonstrate this idea of family of curves, sketching them, let's take an example like this. Let's say we have dy by dx equals, say, minus 3y divided by x. Then if we separate the variables here, we're going to therefore have 1 over y dy equals minus 3 over x dx okay and then we have to integrate both sides so okay we'll just do that now I'm assuming that you're familiar with these integrals okay the integral of 1 over y with respect to y would be the natural log of y so just write that in and if we integrate minus 3 over x with respect to x that is minus 3 times the natural log of x and then we've got the constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. Now, there's many ways that we can make y the subject. I'm going to add the 3 natural log of x to both sides. So if we do that, we've got the natural log of y plus 3 times the natural log of x equals that constant of integration c. And now I can use the power rule for logs where we bring the 3 up here as a power so we can say that this is the same as the natural log of y plus the natural log of x cubed and that equals c. Now if we tidy this up we can now use the addition rule for logs that is that this is exactly the same then to the natural log of x cubed times y okay and then this equals the constant c and if we anti-log this get rid of the natural log here then we would therefore have that x cubed y must equal e to the power c and this has got to be a positive quantity so I'm going to put a modulus around this knowing that this here must be positive positive. and if I let this constant equal say a let's say let a equal e to the power c then I've got that y would equal if we took the positive version and divided by x cubed then y would equal a over x cubed and then if I took the negative value of this then y would equal minus a over x cubed so y can equal plus or minus a over x cubed now what I want to demonstrate is what I mentioned earlier sketching the family of curves for this solution now if for instance a equaled 1 we'll be sketching the graph of y equals 1 over x cubed and what would that look like well it look like this graph here but then I can alter the value of a I could say have a as 10 then I'd get this new curve shown in red and here is what we get when a equals 50 now remember that a can be a negative value so if a equals minus 1 we get the green graph and we have similar results for a equaling minus 10 and minus 50 and I've given you a key here then for these graphs okay well we call this system a 
family then of curves for various values of our constant, in this case, A. Okay, well, I hope that's given you some idea then of what we mean by sketching the family of curves for a differential equation. And you can use this example as a basis for other similar examples.